Good morning, good morning, good morning. I don't think you guys are going to hear me, so I probably will make a dubbed video today. I don't think you can see how terrible this surf is. I cannot explain it to you. This is a different kind of upset surf. Look at all the foam it generates towards Mopelan Bay. And it goes in for meters, hundreds of meters. Well, probably 120, 130 meters. Blue bottles this time of the year? Wow! I know that we get one super high tide a month, but this is incredible. Look at this water coming past me. Look at it. Right, we have got a beautiful silver sunrise this morning. And I am walking all the way to the estuary mouth just to have a look what's happening there. Left Pardetta down because I thought it's going to involve a lot of tractor rides this morning. That didn't happen. <laughs> Standing here at the estuary mouth and the bank of white water is just incredible. And then we're looking at the foam, it means that there's a lot of agitation happening uh, on very shallow water. That's why there's that's why the, 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 the water is white. And that happens all the way into the estuary mouth, all the way. Now it would be a good thing for the estuary mouth to close now for the winter. And that's why we need the management authority to make that decision, to, to humanly intervene to do that. There's a lot of liquefied sand entering the system at the moment and it does it for fall. The tide is subsiding now so um, I'm a little bit late to show you that but I can show you that bit over there. Now, uh, over the next couple of... Yo, look at that over there. Yo, yo, yo. The next couple of days this sand will be washed into the system as far as the bridge, far north as the bridge, or maybe the, the you guys will know it as the Dredger Harbour, where the Isimangalisa Wetland Park Authority's offices are. That far, that's a sample washing. On this angle, we can see how the sediment in the estuary mouth is liqui li liquefied on this high tide. Do the life I come much more prepared. Now you've got the gimbal, but this is heavy. It's heavy on the arm, but it makes it much more manageable. Looking at the peninsula sandbank towards the Velozi River mouth and Mapelon, we can see that this spring high tide is doing a lot of damage to the sandbank. People tell me it's natural, how can it be damaged? It's not natural. This is a man-made wall that was built here by 109 dump tracks that I'm standing on. And all the sand that they deposited here is now washing into the estuary basin and then eventually the estuary system. There's the hippos lying in the Flozy River mouth. This is our peninsula sandbank that washed over. I'm not even going to call it migrated. It washed over into the estuary basin with the tidal surges that we've been getting. If 
from the Falozi Beach Channel. I'm gonna pan this way around so you guys can have a look at this. There we can see and on um, this video I will on the main channel I will point it with an arrow how much the sand is moving towards us just put the arrow there so we can see In the background you can hear the, well, on the microphone you can hear the wind howling. It is, poof, it was uncomfortable. It was very uncomfortable walk. And then it started raining. Jesus overturned a bucket of water on me. As I got tied up. I was still late for sunset this, today. My humble apologies. Even walking down St. Lucia's Main Street on uh, the end or, or in the school holiday. I don't know where we are. Is it school holiday? It's not that busy. And we run into the water. Luckily not the hippo yet. 